Hey guys, Ranchin here. Bring you all another stock of commentary. And I am talking slowly, which is unlike me. And Beast is still an in intro, which it shouldn't be. They haven't even changed the intro at all since the round of 16 or round of 32 for that matter. I think. Jesus. What's wrong with them? So, second quarterfinals. Fourth set, Lita versus Luxury. Lita with a 2-1 match uh, with a lead over Luxury here, playing just two very solid games on two large maps, showing that he's very good at macro overall and just doing a pretty good job. We're going to see how it is that Luxury reacts to this. He's definitely going to have to pull something out of his hat to bring out. And I think the next map favors him. Carthage has had no uh, wins on TVZ for Terran so far, so he definitely has that. Oh, there haven't been, has only been one single TVZ so far on that map. Three, two, one, go. They showed the four too late. I missed the four. No, the stars have aligned against me, and I'm gonna die. So, Brown, five o'clock, Lita, Terran. Red, 11 o'clock. I think that was red. Red, 11 o'clock, Zerg. Yep, red, 11 o'clock, Zerg Luxury. Sip of water. Sip of water. Forward to seeing what kind of builds we're going to go for here. This is such a Zerg favorite map against Terran. It's not even funny. Mech build is just. Oh, would be so hard to pull off. There's so many places for literally just outflank all of your ground forces. Just get them in a pincer, get a bunch of places for lurker traps, all gas expansions, which lets, which just lets Zerg do so much, so much. Some of which he can establish fairly early, so it's going to be so hard for Lita to win this here. He only has to win one game. Yeah, If he wins this here, he's going to win this 3-1, but I think this map favors Luxury so much that he should be able to take this. Lita would have to pull... Do something very funky, I think, to win on this map. And it's just going to go standard, which I think is going to just go in Luxury's favor. Luxury getting a 9 pull this time. It's fairly safe. Just going to make sure that he can defend any sort of crappy cheese that might be coming. He's, Lita has shown that he's not afraid to resort to the cheese. I actually think he should have gone for the cheese on this map rather than going standard. Luxury would have had him made and would have been ready for it, but on a map like Carthage, I think Lita definitely shouldn't have got, should have gone for the cheese, but he didn't, and overall we're going to see what happens. Spawning bullet, as well as early gas, so Luxury, again, going to go for a heavy gas build. We're going to see whether he tries to go for, whether that extract is just for a wing speed, whether he's going to go for a three base, two, uh, two base, three hatch mutilus again, so he's going to start off by mining a bunch of early gas. We're going to see what that is for. First barracks that come down to Felita, meanwhile, on the other side. Don't see any gas from so far. Okay, two barracks is actually from Lita, so he's playing fairly aggressive, just making sure he can defend against anything. Scouting with the SCV knows that there's no there are Zergs imminent, but not going to be there quite yet. And moving off with that SCV, actually, not going to stay inside, not going to risk it. Zerglings are actually on the way. No more gas. Meanwhile, again, mining from luxury. So that was just for the speed. I think I missed that in one of those games. I usually miss when the early gas gets mined. And both barracks is almost now up. One barracks almost on, almost completely ready. And the second barracks almost on the way as well. well SCV is going to stay there. Getting a spot at one zero. He's going to start chasing on that. The rest of the five zero is going to go around and harass the drone. Luxury again trying to put down a hatchery at the natural. And that SCV might be there to just delay that as long as possible. Because if you're, you know, when your build order gets delayed, it's kind of hard. You just got to sort of, you know, readjust yourself. It's going to be difficult. Okay, drone finally does put down the hatchery. Just Lita decided to move away his the CV because there was that one Zergling just doesn't want to keep it in danger. He's just going to have to micro that away and around as long as he can because he probably just one hit away from a death. Three Marines to fight off against these five Zergings. We're going to see what they manage to do. Pretty decent barrack positioning, which is going to force those Zergings to run around. And all, this, all Marines in a pretty good position to defend themselves, to stand along that SCV line. Not gonna, anything going to happen. Zergling speed now is ready for luxury, I believe, at this point. So you might actually be thinking, yeah, he's going to run in. He might actually snipe the gas if he times himself perfectly. Well, definitely he's going to snipe that SCV building the gas, so he's going to delay the gas as long as possible. going to delay that academy from giving the upgrades that Lido will need for his medic marines. Luxury, meanwhile, still just focusing, putting on another drone, going to put down a third hatchery like he's very used to doing. It's kind of standard luxury now. He just puts down another ha third hatchery inside of his base. Speedwing is still running around trying to find something to snipe, but that 
uh, gas actually does come up. Academy almost on the way. So Lita actually very smartly that getting that second rack is gonna definitely help him push out. Now it's just start pushing out, killing those ruggings, and that's gonna be it. Nothing more is gonna be accomplished. Luxury putting down his action. Very good position where he just uh, kind of blocks off. Make sure there's nothing too dangerous. If he plants down Sunkins and that's gonna be able to block off with workers and Sunkins very well. It's gonna not gonna you know make a push from Lita very very effective. Very not effective, shall I say? Not too um, lucky. It's gonna be hard to break through. Suffice to say, it's gonna be hard to break through. So I think again, it's not fully mining gas. I think at this point he's gonna get that hatchery going, then probably gonna go for mutilisks again. Like's doing that, just get that early mutilisk going, and then just transition into a more ground-based build. I'm gonna see overall what he does here. Has a few of those zerglings still around, just making sure he can get the scout instead, just in case Oida tries to exp expand or push out. Oida just pushing out of his main as soon as he got those going. Mining gas with only one SCV, so I'm assuming he's going to put down an expansion. Meanwhile, Luxury now sitting down two Sunkens, as usual, and getting his lair up going. So he's probably going to go for a Muta build. Medic Marines are actually going to move rather far north. And Firebats are also ready to prevent those workers from running by. So there is going to be a command center, meanwhile, put down. And the Medic Marines groups is going to put on Earth. It's very good pressure, but again, forcing Luxury to put down Sunkens. Three Sunkens, in fact, going to be three creep colonies. So... Almost no ground forces aside from that, so that's going to definitely force. We're going to see whether Lita actually tries to break this. It could be a risky for him to do so. Uh, some Marines alongside those fire bats. Meanwhile, at the choke at the main of Lita. Third's not going to go down. Lita definitely not going to push this. He probably doesn't have enough forces. He might actually try to put this on the side, but I'm not quite sure if he's going to... Okay, he actually is going to stay and go for it. He's going to go from behind the mineral lines. He's going to start attacking those drones. Drones trying to block as many of those Marines as they can. Zerg is not falling in. Doing a pretty good job overall there with the drones are blocking off. And that's going to prevent a lot from uh, just those four marines and medics there at the back and be able to do a lot. Another creep call not being able to put down. We're going to see what the leader managed to take out this gas. Zerg is not going to move out. The Sunken is probably going to trust those, those take down. Okay, the Zerg is not gonna actually going to try to get a pincer. Not going to happen quite yet. Meanwhile, that gas is going to get taken down by Lita. One creep call only ready there. Lita lost a lot of forces moving into there that location. So he's very dangerous position actually gonna take that down that extractor but there is a sunken coming up there at the main he is preventing mining so that's a very good idea overall so zerglings meanwhile i'm not gonna move in gonna just completely slaughter this so the gas is actually not gonna go down <laughs> medic's doing a pretty good job of blocking those marines but all those marines are actually gonna go down actually they might actually manage to survive medic keeps them alive and all the zerglings die oh my freaking god how did the luxury manage to lose all those zerglings Holy crap, now gonna be forced to engage with a bunch of those drones that he forced to pull off the line. We're gonna see whether they actually managed to complete the job. Even more zer drones not being taken down. Wow, Spire almost on the way. Lead is gonna get the scout on that Spire. Probably gonna eventually lose these two Marines, but overall not gonna do that. More Zerg is moving, and the Medic is far too away. Oh, man, Commando Marines finally dying. Taking down a friggin' control group of Zerglings or more. Wow, perfect micro there by Lita. Now putting down his engineer, adding some barracks, is definitely going to be able to put down some turrets and luxury. Shaking his head in disgust at himself, knows that he should have been able to do that, should have been able to clean it up, not allow that as much damage happen. His mining at the natural was denied for far too long. Now Lita has established his own natural, so he's such. Despite the fact that he lost his entire ground force, he's so much ahead economically, as long as he can hold this for like a minute or two, he's going to get such a huge advantage economically. And now it's going to be under luxury to try to do some sort of economic damage himself. He should be able to put down some mutalisks. He's probably morphing those in like right now. He has some zerglings there on the side as well. So he's going to be able to do some damage if he manages to do that. Four zerglings there. Not going to be able to do anything. Commence the station is now coming up meanwhile for Lita at the natural. And overall it's going to be just bad position for luxury. He's going to have to ac accomplish some serious serious stuff a bunker being put down by Lita and a bunch of turrets everywhere at the natural as well as at the main I think at least I think he's getting ready to put some turrets down at the main there are no turrets there yet he has to put those down just right away because his mules are in a way it's not going to take him too too long to drive towards that main as soon as he spots that, that main is almost defensive he's going to go and start shelling the crap out of that turret's now on the way but I think there's just far too late three turrets being put down but they're far too late and I don't see any medic marines and I think those moons are actually going to come in, in time to start killing those if he's building the turrets. Okay, this first off going to go on the barracks. Says I don't see them spotting. Those turrets are not up. So they're just going to start killing off the if he's building the turrets. One turret actually comes up. Two turrets actually come up. So the third turret will actually come up. So very <laughs> Lita barely managed to get his turrets in time. So I don't see what Luxury can do. A bunch of his drones running around. AI apparently not.